We are here to correct a historic injustice and restore the human dignity and citizenship of Mr. and Mrs. Klaas and Troy Pinar. Now on the air can that, that but I think that's the importance why government is here. And number of uh, I'm sure that the officials of, of the department will direct us. Were violated in life and in death by people who regarded them as not worthy of humane and decent treatment. Our painful history tells us that more than 100 years ago, in 1909, a scientist from Austria called Rudolf Porsche went on a rampage in the greater Kuruman area, digging up bodies of dead people, destroying graves, and disfiguring sacred art works, all in the name of science. The Republic of Austria is deeply concerned and would like to apologize for the unethical collection of human remains in the name of science by Austrian anthropologist Dr. Rudolf Pech. Working together with the government of Austria, we are turning the tragic events that befell Mr. and Mrs. Bernard into an opportunity for healing. It is also an opportunity to strengthen the bonds of friendship and solidarity between our two countries. But of course, it opens up that we could also discover all the skeletons and do what we are doing today to this family. And therefore our being happy with Australia and changing its understanding of its scientists and acting with us gives us hope that we can work together to really discover every South African who is displayed somewhere there. We therefore accept unconditionally the apology expressed by the Australian government for the actions of Rudolf Bosch. No museum must have a collection or material that depicts any section of the South African population as colonial objects. More so, the indigenous people. Say, Frau Tachin.